At our annual seminar, the National School Public Relations Association brings together more than 1,500 school PR professionals and education leaders to share their stories. But what's Enspra's story? Born in 1935 over a breakfast conversation in Denver, your association began with 31 members, including educators, writers, and crusaders. The first national seminar in 1954 was by invitation only for up to 100 attendees. Those early days feature familiar names of PR pros, such as Edward Bernays and Scott Cutliffe. At the time, Ensper was affiliated with the National Education Association, and many of our publications were aimed at educators. Chapters were authorized in 1958 with no chapter fees, and less than a decade later, there were more than 30 chapters around the country. By the mid-1970s, Ensper had adopted a voluntary accreditation process and a code of ethics. It presented the first chapter award in 1971, announced the first nationwide publication contest in 1977, launched the Gold Medallion Award in 1980, and then the Golden Achievement Award came along in 1984. The 1980s also brought the birth of the Ensper Foundation, which today still funds research and seminar scholarships. In 1997, Ensper relocated from Northern Virginia to its permanent home in Rockville, Maryland. Ensper staffing hit a high of 29 in the early 70s, a low of three in the 90s, and today association services are provided by a team of 11, including Executive Director Barbara M. Hunter, APR who brought her new vision to the association in November 2020. Under her leadership, Ensper began an extensive rebranding to reflect our vibrant personality and our mission of developing professionals to communicate strategically, build trust, and foster positive relationships in support of their school communities. Today, Ensper's staff and executive board serve more than 2,800 members, school communicators, and school system leaders like yourself, and we all look forward to continuing to help our members tell their stories.